today I just want to talk to you about how protecting your back issue, your back pain, and in a lot of cases your injury of some sort isn't helping you and is in fact probably making the situation worse. Quite a few years ago, if you had sort of back pain or some strain or injury, the doctors would recommend resting for six weeks and not doing a thing, but they don't do that anymore. Uh, they're not quite there yet, but it is in a move in the right direction. And it is a good thing that generally, even with other injuries such as, um, you know, even like a, say a muscle issue, like a calf injury or something like that, they now recommend optimal loading. Um, so optimal exercise for that, and obviously you need advice on that, don't just go and start doing something yourself. Unless you've got a broken leg or you've had surgery or something like that, where you absolutely must not load that leg um, or arm or whatever it is for a period of time, obviously you're always led by the doctors and physio advice and whatever else, ultimately there is a point where you need to bring in that optimal loading to start to strengthen uh, and start to be able to get on with things again. In my experience, when my back was at its worst, in my mid to late 20s, and progressively getting worse and worse as well, and I found out that I had a condition, it made me immediately tense up and protect my back from anything. There were things that I just wouldn't do. I worked out little cheats of ways to pick up my pants off the floor with my feet without actually bending over and picking them up. If I was bending over to do something, I'd put my hand on my knee and support myself. If I was gonna sneeze, I'd have to brace myself. If I was in the middle of nowhere, I'd be grabbing my knees so that I could sneeze. If I was on a small wall or something, I had a photo on a small wall in Prague, I wouldn't jump off that wall because I was worried about hurting my back. And this was in my 20s, and it was getting progressively, progressively worse. Uh, and ultimately, the condition in my back, the worn disc that I have, wasn't just wearing and wearing and getting worse and worse and hitting more and more of the nerve. It was purely the fact that I was protecting, I was tense, if I was going to be having to do something physical, I was tensing everything up and, and um, causing, exacerbating the pain. I wasn't exercising like I should have been. And when I was exercising, it was all very um, co uneven, compensating for the back with other things. So it was causing more problems. So protecting and having that attitude and that mental challenge was actually what was making my back get so progressively worse so quickly. So after starting Pilates and introducing myself back into correct exercise and some of the functional movements that we should be doing like squats and deadlifts, but in Pilates we don't necessarily use weight or maybe a band, we don't really use heavy weights or anything, but it was just getting back into those functional movements and then I introduced those functional movements into the gym and started to actually do squats and deadlifts again, very very light to begin with and just slowly built up my confidence, which started with the Pilates and I went back into the gym, to the point now where sort of 10 years on from when my back pain started, I'm back to doing reasonably heavy squats and deadlifts with no back pain whatsoever. Uh, and my back probably hasn't gotten any worse as such, because the way that I move now is better and all of the lessons that I learned from Pilates have improved that. The biggest thing was the, the mental shift in appreciating that I didn't have to protect my back and unless I did something crazy, I wasn't going to cause more damage to my back uh, or anything like that. So I was back to playing rugby and that sort of thing. I do remember a time when I think I must have been about 28, about a year after I'd had the MRI scan saying that I did have a problem with my back, a condition with my back. I, I actually believed things had gone down that quickly at that stage a year on, that I was around the corner from a blue badge. That I remember feeling convinced that I was around the corner from being disabled and needing a blue badge um, because of how bad my back pain was getting. I went from thinking I was going to end up with a blue badge and being disabled to playing rugby and lifting weights again. Okay, so and a lot of that was, the, in fact, I'd say probably 60% of that was the mental battle. 40% uh, of it was the physical and getting things working right. If you're starting to think to yourself, I can't do that with my back, you know, mowing the lawn or uh, just lugging some stuff around the house. I was there in my 20s, you know, there are things I just wouldn't do, which I should have been able to do. You know, you're not by mowing the lawn going to make your back condition worse. In the major vast majority of cases, it will probably be good for you, but it's just good to have an understanding of how the body works, how the deeper core muscles work, how to activate those core muscles when you are doing something quite physical to alleviate the tension on your back how to keep a good alignment of the spine whilst keeping your core engaged, but less pressure on your discs and ligaments and muscles and things like that. So 
Um, hopefully this helps you to feel like there is some hope that you're going to be able to get movement back if you are suffering with back pain. Okay, you are going to be able to exercise again, you are going to be able to have a normal life. Uh, you aren't going to suddenly, you know, cause some major further problem with your backs or with your discs or whatever injury it is that you've got. If any of that resonates with you, please feel free to give me a shout. You know, unless you've been specifically told to, stop protecting and start moving. Want to get in touch with me? It's russ at pilatesguide.co.uk. You can visit my website, which is pilatesguide.co.uk. Uh, and otherwise, thanks for watching and hopefully speak to you again soon.